Welcome to Pro Kitchen Online Video Tutorial Series, version 11. This video is part of the Native Mac Interface Series for Mac users only. This tutorial is an overview of the Native Mac design settings. Design settings are the parameters that need to be set when beginning a new design. Customer information, construction parameters, and texture selections specific to the current design are entered here. Information entered in design settings override the default settings. The first icon in the upper toolbar is New Design. Selecting this icon will begin a new design and open the Design Settings dialog box. You can also access Design Settings by selecting the Design Settings icon in the toolbar or in Settings. When Design Settings opens, you'll see the Design Settings page and several tabs on the left. Begin by naming the design. It's important to remember that when naming a design, you should only use alpha, numeric, periods, or underscores as special characters and spaces become problematic for autosave, backups, and cloud storage. You can assign contract numbers, job names, PO numbers, or order numbers, whichever system your business utilizes. You can set the design status from preliminary design all the way through to install and specify who processed the design as well. The creation date and last modified fields are system settings and cannot be changed. You can also add notes. However, these notes are not confidential and will be included on reports. You can add or edit the current logo here if you wish. Simply left-click the Select button, browse your computer, and choose your logo image. Keep in mind, only JPEG and PNG files can be used, with a pixel limit of 360. The next tab in the left toolbar is Units. This dictates the unit of measurement used in the design. The Users tab will open four sub-tabs, Customer, Dealer, Designer, and Supervisor. The Customer tab allows you to add a new customer or edit existing customer information in your Customer Relation Management, CRM. To access the CRM, select Browse. Your previously added customers will appear here along with their information. To assign the design to an existing customer, select the customer, then choose the Select button at the bottom of the page. The customer's information will then auto-populate. To add a new customer, select New to open the New Customer dialog box. Enter as much information as possible for a complete customer record that allows for a comprehensive search. Select OK to save. To edit a customer, select the customer, then select Edit. When the dialog box appears, edit the customer's current information and select OK. You can also delete customers. Simply select the customer, then select Delete. A dialog box will appear and ask to confirm the action and whether or not you want to delete the design files from your hard disk. The design files in cloud storage will need to be manually deleted. The Dealer tab is where you'll enter your information. Enter the information here that you wish to share with your customers as the information here will print on your reports. You can also add or edit design and supervisor information using the same process as you would with the customer. This allows for assigning both designers and supervisors to specific designs. You can also select the Same As button, if applicable, to save steps. The Construction tab opens four sub-tabs and allows you to edit the default settings in each for the current design only. Changing these settings will not affect your defaults and does not require a program restart as some default settings do. Use the arrows to adjust or highlight, delete, then retype the preferred setting. Adjust your wall thickness, zone width, and wall heights if necessary using the same method with the up-down arrows or highlighting and typing. You can access and readjust your design settings at any time. If you need to change the wall heights after you've drawn the walls, then select Apply to Existing Walls. The program will then automatically adjust the heights for you. 
If there are different wall heights used in your design, you'll need to adjust those manually within the individual wall's attributes. Wall Items Alignment allows you to set the wall items using top alignment or bottom alignment. With top alignment being the distance between the top of an item and the ceiling, and bottom alignment being the distance between the bottom of an item and the floor. You must consider the size, distances, and other measurements specific to your current design and adjust all settings accordingly. The countertop settings allow you to make changes to the countertop overhangs and thickness. You can also adjust the backsplash specifications as well. The other tab gives you two options, adjusting the nomenclature orientation and setting the auto offset for your hoods. The Moldings tab opens your molding settings for the one-click molding feature. Select to enable, choose the catalog from the drop-down menu, then select the product. Hovering over the product allows a preview of the item. Repeat this process until all your moldings are selected. If you don't set your moldings prior to selecting the Add All icon, you'll get a dialog box letting you know the settings need to be set. The trim allowance setting indicates how much extra trim is added over the total sum of your moldings. The same process applies to the molding lighting. Select to enable, select the product, then adjust the intensity or wattage by using the slider. Again, if you don't make your selections here prior to selecting the add all icon, you'll get a dialog box asking you to do so. The Textures tab is where you'll set the textures for the current design that will override the default settings. If you don't modify the textures here, the default settings will apply. To modify the textures, choose the Select button to the right of the element to open the textures catalog. Once the textures catalog is open, you can browse the folders or search for the texture name or number in the search field above. Select the textures to see a preview in the right panel. If a pattern is detected, the Rotate button is activated. You can rotate the texture here or add the texture to your Favorites panel above for easy access in the future. Select OK to save the texture to the selected element. Repeat the process for each element in your design. Be sure to set the sheen for your flooring textures with a left click and hold of the slider. You can come back anytime to change the textures, set the sheens, or rotate the textures. Select OK to save. Thank you for visiting Pro Kitchen University. Be sure to visit us at ProKitchenSoftware.com.